the stairs, pack ball, but Teb goes down. It's trade for trade across the entirety of the site. Questo potrebbe essere un 5 a 1. Rimane solo Pakbull che ha meno trova la kill. No, Ancora Pakbull, fa di casa. L'abbiamo detto, l'hai detto. Pakbull è il re dei clutch. Hey guys, I'm Pakbull, R6 player for Wild, and this is my journey to being a pro. The kit and the hold, they know he's going to hold it off. 13 seconds, the bait and the jiggle, he pulls off just in time! Gets the shot through the bars, 20 seconds, and Pakbull with a retake, P4! Tell you what, I know... Oh wow, Pakbull absolutely... Like, what what is going on with Pakbull, honestly? My first ever time playing Siege was when a school friend recommended it. I was a big uh, Call of Duty fan. Back in the day, I guess Siege was similar in a lot of ways, but it also had a lot of interesting new dynamics. I was really competitive and I wanted to become better and I just grinded from there on. I first got into competitive and uh, scrimming when I was about 17. I started scrimming pretty early on because if nothing else, it was more fun than playing ranked and it helped me improve a lot. Starting competitive is what helped me reach into the higher ranks and just get a lot better as a player. My first real memory from competitive Siege would be playing the comp cups and go forth back in the day. A casual tournament with no prize pool, but we thought, it was amazing, you know. At the time we thought, damn, this is a open tournament. Everyone in Europe can play and we got top 32 in the whole of Europe. Any kind of achievement was still, uh, you know, something that stood out to you. So my first ever team in competitive, my first ever, you know, real team was uh, Eminem. We all came from nothing. No one had ever been in tier three before even on that team. The way we got there was just by working hard. It was a great uh, start for me, not only because of the achievements, but because of it really showed me that, you know, if you want to do good, you, you work hard and that's how you get it. You know, it's not, uh, there's no real shortcuts. Stick together, work hard, and that's how you get it. So I think it was kind of the best possible start that I could have had to competitive, you know. Going from Devizen in tier three, GSA, stepping up to Team Secret for uh, 2020, it was a big step up for me. It was something, you know, I dreamed of for a long time and I was, you know, I think I'm very fortunate to have been given the, the opportunity. It was, a, it was a lot of pressure, but I think I, did as good as I could for the first season. Secret we never did super good on, but the first season I think uh, we did better than people expected us to at least. My first ever season in uh, EUL was a bit of a roller coaster. You know, we started off with four wins in the beginning. Then I think we ended up getting a 7-5 loss uh, against VP and then lost the next four games. And we ended up, you know, missing out on Major by, uh, you know, a point or two. Having such a good start and then uh, tapering off is rough, but I think it's it could still be a good sign, you know. The biggest, uh, I guess, you know, thing that I've learned in my first uh, year or two of Pro League was uh, you need to take responsibility in your mistakes. It's easy to slip up sometimes and, uh, you know, fight back against it a little bit sometimes, you know, getting defensive. So something that I've worked a lot on, I think I'm, you know, pretty good at it now is uh, owning up to when I'm wrong. But in the beginning, it was something I struggled with a little bit. After my time ended with Secret in 2022, I spent a while, about probably a year, searching for kind of my next real team. I was in two different uh, kind of tier three teams, uh, EDS, and I was also in Machko for a little while, the Italian orc that uh, my team at Teb was also in. But we didn't have any real super good success with those, you know, won a couple uh, qualifiers with both of them, won a couple games, of course, but uh, nothing too serious. It was more of just trying to keep my name out there. It had been about a year since I was last in tier one. And yeah, it was something that I was unsure if uh, I was going to come back to it. I even started a real life job, as horrible as that is. Uh, I was working for about a month uh, until I got an offer from TT9, uh, which uh, I turned down because I didn't think it was the right team for me. And then Wild approached and, you know, I kind of knew right away that uh, it was an offer that if they wanted me, I would definitely want to join. And we made it happen pretty quick. I think from me first getting messaged about trialing for them to me signing my contract was about 24 hours. It was super quick and it was also about 10 days before EUL started. So it was a quick turnaround from me joining the team to us playing our first official. Uh, so far with Wild, we've had a lot of small victories, you know, but uh, the big win we were really all waiting for and hoping for was qualifying to either Copenhagen to Gamers 8 or to both hopefully but uh, unfortunately we we kept falling at the very last hurdle you know whether that was you know us not having a lot of experience together as a team or nerves or whatever it was getting to us I think it's something we learned from we the mistakes we made especially in the Copenhagen qualifier games it was a lot of throwing the rounds that we should have won you know we were losing a lot of 4v2s 5v3s uh, even like 3v 3v1 stuff like that which uh shouldn't happen at all but it's something that we're a lot better at now and considering we'd only been together for a, for about a month i think getting as far as we did is still something in hindsight that you know maybe we can be a little bit proud of but it's still uh 
still hurts that we, you know, we fell short so many times. I would say the biggest aspect that I've changed as a player, my competitive career, is probably just finding the right role for me. Really just switching roles is something that I've done a lot of in my career, not uh, flip-flopping around them. I was trying to find what the next best role for me is. So and as I, you know, got into Pro League, I really find that my best role is support a lot of direction from the back line. And that's why, you know, it's the role I've been playing for the last uh, couple of years. So a big change in uh, my game since uh, joining Wilds is I've been able to take little bits and pieces from everyone on the team, you know, I've always been on pretty structured teams in the past. You know, Hungary's very flexible as a player. Asus has always been on aggressive teams. We've been able to mix and match a little bit from everybody's style. That's something that Wild, uh, this Wild roster has really allowed me to do just because we're all such different players naturally. It's definitely a strength that we have in the team, I think. Uh, something I think I personally, you know, need to improve on, but I've also been working to improve on since joining Wild is to get a little bit more comfortable playing the aggressive roles. Generally, with the way we're playing as a team and with the way Siege is kind of turning into more and more each year, you know, everyone needs to be able to play aggressive and uh, frag out sometimes. That's just how it is. And I definitely think I've been, you know, making strides improving it. Statistically, in terms of how I'm feeling everything, you know, I'm I'm doing pretty good on, uh, on Wild compared to my previous teams. Uh, but it's something I can still improve at, of course, and it's something I'm putting a lot of work into getting better at. Something that takes time, but uh, so far I'm working towards it and I'm, I'm fairly proud of uh, you know, the improvements I've been. I'd say the teammate on Wild that inspires me the most is probably Asus. I feel like he has a pretty bad reputation for some reason. A lot of people think that he's a lazy guy or something like that, but he's super hardworking. He's got a very improvement-focused mindset, which explains why he's so good. You know, he's always taking responsibility for his mistakes uh, and looking at solutions. Something he says a lot that I think everyone should try believe as much as they can is that there's no such thing as luck, you know. Every time you every time you die, whether it's, you know, losing a gunfight or getting randomly needed from below, you know, it's on you to try and prove that, you know, which a lot of people find it hard to do. But as soon as you start, it's going to skyrocket your improvement and, you know, help you more than pr probably anything else. So. That's something that is really respectable about him and it's why I look up to him a lot. Uh, so far, our biggest rivals, and I think it'll continue to be this way, have been uh, Wolves. We played against them in total maybe like five times so far. And I think the record is we beat them three times, they beat us twice. We're an inch ahead of them, but it just, for some reason, they keep coming up on our brackets. And, you know, there's a little bit of beef there as well. It's nothing serious. We've definitely been having a lot of fun every time we scrim them and uh, play them in officials. I do everything like it's the first time. I told you what it was, I know you heard now I do everything like it's the first time If you're not on my